What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new game and that game is Planet Zoo. So guys, today we're here, we've got our own open field, we can literally build our zoo however we want and you know exactly what we're going to do with it? We are going to build an animal fight park. Now I know, I know, this could be slightly bad but hell this could go oh so right. So if you guys remember correctly, there was a Jurassic, not Jurassic, yeah there was a Jurassic World Evolution I believe it was called where um, you could actually build dinosaur enclosures and whatnot. Now, we did play that, we did do a couple of videos on it on the channel and uh, we've actually still got some hidden from you guys. We actually made like two extra spares and they're just casually chilling in our private section. So what we'll be doing today guys is we'll be doing the same thing and building our own zoo. Now, like I said, we've got all this area to play with so we're gonna get started now. The controls on this are a little bit, not funky, but you've got to you've got to try and get things right. So I'm going to snap it so that we can do this. And is this just going to do it one by one? Can we increase the length? Go like boom. What if we go angle snap? Okay, deselect grid. You can see it's, oh, here we go. That's a lot easier. Oh, look at that. All right, so we're just going to build this big ass road. Yep, stretch. Oh, no. Okay, that'll do for now. So we're going to have guests coming in. It's a semi-large road. We'll probably refine this a bit. I don't know if this is going to be our main playthrough. We have gone through the campaign a little bit. Q. Staff parts. Huh, okay. Uh, yeah, we have gone through the campaign a little bit and uh, messed around in that for quite a lot. But um, yeah, we're going to see how this goes today and uh, see if you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe down below as well, guys. It'd be much appreciated. All right. So we're gonna have a couple of branching paths off here. Yeah, that looks sort of, yep, that's not straight, but whatever, we'll just completely ignore that and keep building. Okay, so, oh my God, that is actually triggering. Like, look at, how tiny is that? Wait, is it straight? No, it's not, it's not flush. It's like a, literally a centimeter, oh my God. <laughs> All right, so we've got our basic paths down. And now what we're gonna need is our staff because we need a whole heap of staff stuff. So we're going to grab a workshop and do all this and bring you guys back when we've got it all placed. It's uh, probably going to go just around here, I reckon. Alrighty, guys. So we more or less have an enclosure. Like I said, I, I mean, we're working on it. Let's just make it a little bit brighter here. Oh, we can see again. So we've got this little tiny pen. I don't know what we're going to put in it. We've... We, you know what? I'm thinking we're going to go with some buffaloes. I think, I think it's time to find out who really is the top of the food chain. So we're going to buy a bunch of buffalo here. There we go. And what we're going to try doing, I, I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to get a bunch of African wild dogs as well. Buy some of these guys. Now, we're going to see if these African wild dogs can take down these buffalo. Now, this enclosure is a very basic enclosure. We still have absolutely no people here whatsoever. They just, they're just not happy. We've got three star for animal rating. Are we open? Guys, can anyone tell me? Are we open in here? Hello? People? There's, there's literally no one coming in. That's wonderful. All right, let's get back over here. So we should have our animals now all ready to go. And we are going to go and select all these bad boys. Move them into here. Now, these guys aren't obviously going to be happy in this enclosure. It is a very uh, rough enclosure. And we should probably put some food in there for them. Water trough, water trough, food bowl. They've got a food trough. I think a food trough should be enough. We'll put a food cage in. Actually, none of them are going to be able to reach that. Well, also, just to make sure that they've got a little bit of a shelter to hide from each other. I don't think this is going to work, but I mean, we'll chuck one of those down and we'll chuck... If we chuck what? Let's chuck a frozen blood pumpkin in. I'm sure this will get the African wild dogs really going. All right, so we've got those dudes coming in now. Are they going? Oh, yeah, look at these little cuties. Hey, little fellas, how you doing? Oh, you're going to go get a drink of water, mate? We've already got... How do we already have a serious injury? I, how did you get injured? Oh, he's crying and everything. I'm pretty sure we don't have a vet. We, that is literally the only thing we forgot to make. A vet. Uh, let's quickly go for a vet right now because our poor little African doggo, he is hurt. And we do not want hurt doggos on our watch. Let's just spin that bad boy around right here. Take a little look, sis. There we go. And oh, oh. Oh, oh, rotating in this game and placing structures is very intense. There are a lot of buttons that you've got to press, and a lot of them are slightly confusing. Okay, we've already got a diseased animal and a serious serious injury discovered. 
I genuinely want to know how. We literally just got these guys in. Look at these little guys running. Alright, uh, I think we need to hire a vet as well. Staff, uh, let's just plop the vet. See how well he fares in the actual... Oh, we, we gotta put him on a path. We can't just drop him in the wild dogs. Okay. All three of our wild dogs have a disease. Wait, no. We've still got one more that is not actually diseased. Little dude, are you gonna be okay? I gotta say, these dudes are hella adorable. Alright, so we've got these guys in. Their enrichment, they are definitely not happy. So what we need to do is we need to fix that enrichment ASAP. So I genuinely thought they would be excited by some pumpkins. Apparently not. So they want a piñata enrichment and a dog ball. <laughs> I, I definitely did not see that dog ball coming. Like, I didn't even know how we did not pick up on that. All right, let's give these guys a dog ball. Um, that's their food enrichment. And I don't even remember what their toy was. Water jet, small ball. Let's just double check here because these boys like to play. All right. Small balls, sprinklers. You know what? We're going to give them a sprinkler because something about dogs running through sprinklers just really gets my, uh, really gets the blood pumping. Uh, is our vet running away from the African wild dogs? No, he's, she's, she? Is that a female or a male? I cannot tell. She's running with the dogs. All right, so we've still got two really <laughs> diseased dogs. I don't know how. All right, aside from that, how are we looking, little dudes? You happen? You want some more toys? I, I completely forgot what you guys like. What toys do you guys like? Let's let's just go out on a limb here and say you guys like a small ball. I think we already discovered they like the small balls. We'll drop a couple of those in. Alright. Oh, look at that. These guys, 100%. Now, they look happy. We're going to find out... Ooh, terrain. They aren't happy with the terrain. Well, well they, can, they, can, they can live with it for a while. We're going to find out just how happy these guys are going to be if we introduce some... Uh, big boy bulls into the mix. Some uh, juicy, juicy African buffalo. Now, these guys are chilling in our trade center at the moment. We're going to wait for them to... We're going to wait for our wild dogs to get healed up, to get repaired. Oh, look, we have people in. We have 153 people. Hello, fellow citizens. Come and see the wooden fence that is so lovely presented in front of you because that is literally all you can see. We don't even have a road going around this, so you can't actually see what's going on. All right, we're getting the delivery. One of our African doggos is back. Pop it open. She just yeeted that. She was like, you know what? Screw you, little doggo. We're going to yeet you into your enclosure. Forget about your safety. That's probably where the serious injury came from. Him being yeeted into the bloody enclosure. All right. So we've got two. They're back. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's bring them in. Let's see if this attracts all the people. All right. Finances. No, we need to go here. And we're going to move. We're going to move one. Let's move one in here. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty, guys. So, I think they're bringing our first buffalo. Here it is. I don't know how well this is going to work. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I think this is a lot family friendly than a bunch of dinosaurs fighting. Yeah. Is that the wild dog? They're going to literally just come on top of each other. He's like, oh, fresh meat. Yeah. Fresh buffalo, Ryan. Give me some of that action. I mean, his social is fine. <laughs> is he just not worried about a bunch of African wild dogs hunting him down? Is that what? Okay, well, you know what? Let's make things interesting. All right, so we're going to make things a little bit more interesting. We are going to add, as soon as we find them. Oh, hold on. The buffalo's on the move. What are we looking for? Here we go. Bengal tiger. Adopt this and send to zoo and let's let's see how this works. Good news is we've got social enrichment for the tiger here um, in the form of a bloody pumpkin. The African wild dogs aren't too fast, but they seem to be pretty happy in terms of not getting sick anymore, which is always a bonus. So, all right, here comes the tiger. Now, what we're also going to do is we are going to lower the whole fence. We're going to see if any of these tiger boys want to jump out. Oh, here we go. Here comes the tiger. All right, predation is occurring. Ooh, predation is occurring. I don't know. Is this a bad thing? Is he going to attack the buffalo? Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. He's, he's, oh, God. He's just skipped straight over the juicy buffalo, but he's going for the wild dogs. Okay, now they're just kind of jousting, but brushing lightly aside each other. 
The Buffalo's not having none of it. I don't know where the Tiger's going. He's definitely not going after the Buffalo. Right now, I think they're just having a little bit of a run race. It says it's occurring, but like... Oh, oh. Is he going for the juicy Buffalo butt? Okay. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. That's great, considering we're hosting an animal free-for-all. But, uh, you know, sure. Let's do that. You know what? Let's let's make things a little bit more interesting. What we're gonna do? We're gonna pause it, and we're just gonna we're just gonna throw in an elephant. We're gonna send in the elephant, and to make things a little bit more interesting, I was gonna say we're gonna we'll send in an aardvark, but I don't think that's a good idea for the poor little aardvark. Got to give him at least a little bit of a chance. We can go for a bongo. A bongo is a very tempting. What else do we have? We have a lot of animals. A Chinese pangolin? No, we're not gonna do that. Ooh. Formosan black bear. Let's live a little. Let's splurge a little bit and what? We go one more. I think we need another herbivore. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. King Daddy Muncher. Let's grab a hippo. Send to zoo. All right. I have no idea how well this is going to work, guys, but that's what we're here for, to show you and to determine how well this will work. So, right now we've got... <laughs> Bengal tiger, we've got a, a water buffalo, we've got three African wild dogs, and this guy is deciding to brave it all and just waltz right up to the tiger. This guy has some big kahunas. Like, he, he just walked past the Bengal tiger like it was nothing. All right, here we go. Here comes the big boy elephant. Look at that. And we got the bear at the same time. Oh, no, that's the hippo. Is the bear somewhere? The bear? Okay, that is something I never want to see again. All right, things are getting intense now. All right, so the bear is running after the wild dogs. The tiger is running after the bear. Predation is occurring. Five five cases of predation. Oh, hold on. Is the buffalo getting attacked too over here? I'm so confused. There is so much going on. Oh, no. The little bear's dead. Animal died. Okay. Uh, I feel slightly bad for the little bear. Oh, the hippo's not having any of it. Here we go. The elephant's just chilling like, what are you suckers all going to do? Like, intimidation differences between hippopotamus? I don't know what that means, but... Oh, oh, the hippo is not happy. He's going straight for this tiger. And the tiger is like, I do not want to get chomped on by those teeth. Okay. We need to get rid of the bear. Uh, I'm really sorry, little dude, but we just, for the purposes of science, we had to test that. The buffalo is just chilling. The wild dogs are being smart. They're like, we're just going to hide in here. Let this play out for what it is and leave all these dudes alone. We're just, we're just, okay. This is, this is turning into a mess. What is, oh, that's the box for the bear. All right. Let's pause again. We're going to, we're going to up the ante a little bit, guys. We're going to, we are going to go all in. All right. So we've got one African buffalo. Let's add an extra one to that. Maybe that'll boost his little confidence. We've got a bison. We've got another tiger. I don't think we need any. Ooh, a cheetah. I don't know about the cheetah. Okay, let's go. There's a black bears. Let's go for a grizzly. We could go with a panda. Mm, we'll go with the grizzly. Let's go with the young boy. Got those juicy jeans in him. Himalayan brown bear. I'm pretty sure grizzly bears are one of the biggest. Let's grab that. Okay. Uh, we got another. We don't need another hippo. We've got the elephants. Ooh. All right. Let's do this. Let's let's get the young boy in. 14 and a half years old. Let's get him in. What else have we got? We've got a Komodo dragon. I feel like that's going to be a bad time all around for the dragon. But you know what? Let's do it. Nile monitor. What else we got? A carpy. We've got zebras. We've got some more hippos. Oh, no. We can't send in a red panda. They're just they're just way too cute. That That is just animal cruelty right there. Saltwater croc. Siberian tiger. Snow leopards. Hyenas. Maybe hyenas. Like, we have a lot of stuff. Timber wolves. You know what? Let's get a, her a pack of timber wolves. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, do we want to bring lions into the mix? I feel like there's going to be way too much. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? You know, what have we got to lose except all our virtual animals and probably get uh, striked on YouTube for animal cruelty? All right. Oh, we could bring in a gorilla. Done. Done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get them all in here. These boys are not going to be happy animals when they get in here, but I mean, all in the name of science. We are performing an experiment and I need to... Have lots of outliers and all right. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go. All right, so right now nothing, nothing too bad is happening. Everyone's just living in perfect harmony. I'm just waiting for the tiger to jump the fence. African elephant 
And the wild dogs. The wild dogs are going for the elephant. These guys aim high. I'm just waiting for the elephant to accidentally step on one of them. Okay. All these dudes are little happies. Intimidations between the hippo and the African wild dogs. You don't want to take that fight, doggies. Trust me. Alright, things are about to get a hell of a lot interesting. Alright, we've got the gorilla coming in. No one's been no one's been eaten yet so far. We've got the gorilla. We've got the rhino. How many animals can we stack on top of each other? That is the real question today, guys. I think we might need more keepers. Oh, here we go. Gorilla's coming in. Broken barrier. Animals may escape. Oh! Elephant is free. I repeat, the elephant has broken free. And the tiger has as well. He just kind of climbed over it. Alright, let's 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 pause this because I'm pretty sure they won't fight. But we're having an intimidation different species. We're going to fix this fence up. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to fix it up. Oh, I need some mechanics first. Let's get this sorted and uh, bring you guys back when hopefully we've got the park up and running again. Okay, good news is all the animals are coming back in. The fence, I think, is fixed. Yep, and we've got a stack of animals on top of each other. We've got the grizzly. We've got the timber wolves. Uh, we've got to unbox all these boys. Okay, let's find out what's going to... Oh my god, this just... <laughs> this is not good. The, at least they're having fun with the ball. Did you guys see that ball get launched up in the sky? Uh, are you in? Move in here. Get your butt back in here, Mr. Tiger. And we need to move the elephant back in here too. Alright, so far everyone is being semi-peaceful with each other. Except for Mr. Rhino and uh, Hippo. The Hippo kind of just wants to munch on him. I think that... Oh, hold on. Indian Rhino and Hippo. We've got another bison. We've got lions in here. Oh my god, this is... Predation is occurring. I don't know what it's occurring on because there is just... Way too much going on right now. Okay, Rhino and Hippo are going at it. This is this is intense, guys. Oh, oh, they are actually they are actually fighting. This is going to end in some serious injuries. Nope, Rhino is running away. He has had enough. But the big king of the jungle. Oh, damn, he's going for those baby dogs, the African wild dogs. We got the timber wolves in here as well. There is just chaos and mayhem. This is definitely not a zoo I would want to visit. You can currently see here we are still attracting guests. That number did just go up. And it is still continuing to go up. So, uh, people are obviously keen for this sort of thing. The sickos that they are. Uh, we had a dangerous animal escape. Our bear somehow has managed to climb out. That's fine. You can keep doing that. Lowland gorilla and the lion apparently are in the mood for a little bit of a tussle. The rhino, he's just like, what's up, man? I'm just chilling here, eating some grass. Don't mind me. Whoa. Okay, big dude. You need to calm down. I like how he's just playing in the sprinkler. He's just like, let me just fan my butt glands and get that scent out there. All right. Well, I mean, so far, nothing else has been killed. I look at that as a positive. I think you guys should look at it as a positive, too. We have more creatures incoming, though. Uh, these guys are still not moving. Unbox. Okay. Uh, Hippo and Rhino, I think, are going to fight again. Oh, damn. Oh. Uh, goodbye, Komodo Dragon. You were... I didn't even see you come into the little park. Man, I'm real sorry about that. All right, Rhino and Hippo are going at it again. These two are just bitter rivals to the end. I think the, the everyone else is just running around having a joyful time. Like, I really don't see much else going wrong at the moment, which is oddly surprising. Animal died. We had another animal died. I don't know who died. Komodo Dragon's dead. Everyone's just having a joyful time. Komodo dragon. Oh, we lost a wild dog. Okay, sorry, little dude. All in the name of science. Ever oh, the wild dogs seem to be on the bottom of the food chain at the moment. The bisons are just running around doing their own thing. We haven't seen the elephant. I do want to see the elephant. All right, we've got more lions. The tigers are coming in. Who's gonna Who's gonna come out on top of this? Was that the bear? That was a hell of a jump from the bear. Damn. Runner's just having a little cat nap again. Serious injury discovered, vet called. Yep, that's fine. I mean, it's not, but I mean, what can you do? Oh, I think we just lost another wild dog. These guys are just running around. Look at this dude. Look at this brave son of a bum. He's just gunning for it. He's just taking a leisurely stroll in the pen that has literally everything wanting to kill him. Due to being so juiced up on everything surrounding it. We just lost an animal. Another animal. Another do dog. So the dogs are out. I believe that is the dog's dead. Right now, I am not sure where this is going to. The grizzly bear is just taking a little lounge. He's just having some honey. Hello, Baloo. How are you doing over here, mate? Oh, look. He's, he's playing with his belly. He's licking it. That is a tasty belly. All right. So right now, the lions are just running rampant. 
The Tigers are doing their own little thing, but we have yet to see Mr. Elefante. I don't know where Mr. Elefante has gone. He could possibly... No? Okay, we've just somehow managed to misplace a gigantic 40-ton elephant somehow. But, I mean, sure. That's, that's fine. Predation is occurring. Oh, here he is. He's back in the park. Let's see what goes on. All right, so lions and tigers, they're just doing their thing. We've still got an, uh, a dog, apparently, still alive. Gorilla's chilling in the little enclosure. Elephant has had enough. He's just stampeding. He's kicking the balls. I think he's having a little bit of fun there. I'm just... Oh, was that another wild dog? Nope. Timberwolf has died, so we got a Timberwolf killed by the tiger. I think that just happened over there. The bear just got crated up for some apparent reason. Dangerous animal has escaped. We have an escapee. I repeat, something has escaped. I have no idea what, but... Uh, oh, it's a bear. It's blue. He just wants to find some more honey, guys. Just let him sit through your pockets. Sift through your pockets. I'm sure he'll find it. Surprisingly, the buffalo and the bison are still alive. I was expecting... Oh, oh. <laughs> Elephant's breaking loose. He didn't want to be in here anymore. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Let's just... Yeah, we'll, we'll just... You can do your own thing, mate. Just go on. Don't... Go wander around. I don't want to call the vet. Can I cancel the vet call? It. Okay, that's fine. We'll just leave that. He's just having a peaceful stroll. Look at him. He's just leisurely strolling out. He's like, as long as I'm out of this heckin' enclosure, that is fine with me. We've got another dangerous animal escaping. Or is that just the bear? Nope, that is just the bear. So everything is all nice and calm. We don't have alarms, but apparently we are still attracting more people. Intimidation hippos and the Bengal tigers. Two more people just came in to visit our zoo. Another 12 more. So the numbers are going up. 300. Everyone just wants to see a wild, free Roman elephant running around and uh, totally not t stampeding over them, as well as a hungry grizzly bear sifting through their pockets for honey. Well, uh, safe to say that this zoo is n probably not what they expected. Hell, I was not expecting it. Oh, hold on. Elephant's had enough. He's coming back in. He's going to come in and teach these tigers a lesson. And the lions. Never mind. I stand corrected. He's just chilling there like a, a big dope. And the wild dogs are still apparently trying to go for the elephants. And even the bear's climbing back in. <laughs> oh my god, that is the cutest thing ever. He just totally strip-poled that fence right there. Oh my god, that was glorious. Well, guys, safe to say this is definitely not how you want to run a zoo, but uh, that's going to pretty much finish up our first episode for today. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this, because uh, it's a lot of fun, and we have a lot more animals. As well as that, we also have exhibits. And uh, safe to say, we can pretty much set up some giant centipedes up against a gila monster, for example. So uh, we'll take a little look sees into this, but so far, it looks like the devs have done a really good job with the game. And we just witnessed a wild dog getting munched to death. Rest in peace. Chenzira, I am going to miss you, my friend. I am terribly sorry for the brutal murder, murder that you faced at the hands of the lion. So far, this guy is the king because he has killed the most. I wonder if he can. He just killed the timber wolf. Literally just one shot it. I wonder if you can find out. Stud book? Social? Genetics? Okay, we can't actually find out how many animal kills he's got. I guess that would be a bit sadistic on my part. So uh, kudos to the devs for not implementing anything too violent. And uh, I really do jest about all this, guys. But uh, please don't treat your animals cruelly. It's, it's really not a good thing. We're doing it for a laugh. Uh, and it is all virtual. And yeah, I don't know how well this is going to go on YouTube. But uh, we'll find out. Rest in peace and Nanaba. Oh, we've got a trumpet over here, but uh, the gorillas are just running around. The, the, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, elephant is beelining it for that tiger. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he going to go for it? I mean, apparently not. The bison just had a little water buffalo just kind of engaged with the elephant. Okay, well, well guys, we're going to wrap up the video here for today. Let me know whether or not you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know whether or not you'd like to see more. But other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. I got this soul.